Have you ever wondered what a tree does after you plant it? Well, in this video, I'm going to have a look at one of my trees and have a close look at the root system. I think it will teach us a lot about transplanting trees. This tree had been growing in the garden for a couple years and I wanted to move it. So early this spring, I came along and cut out a root ball. So I pushed the shovel in about this far from the trunk all the way around. And you can see these major roots are all cut off. The roots normally would have been way out to here, but it lost most of the roots. And in the process, it lost all of the feeder roots, all of the root hairs. The root hairs is what's absorbing all this water. These roots here don't absorb any nutrients or water. It's the root hairs that do that. And the root hairs develop a couple inches back from the tip of new root growth. They don't generally grow back here. I took this and then planted it in a temporary location. And it's been in there for about five weeks now. And it's time to move it to its permanent location. So I dug it all up and I thought I'd show you what I'm seeing. The tip of this big root is starting to grow new root. And you can see the tiny roots here. The roots that are farther in here and were more protected, they're also forming a lot of new roots. These are nice small roots. When we dug this tree up, we lost most of the feeder roots, which were out here. But the tree is now regrowing feeder roots in here. And that's what we really want. These roots will eventually grow out here. And in a few years, they'll look just like this. Along with these fine roots, you also get a lot of root hairs growing out here. And it's those root hairs that are absorbing the water. Trees are extremely resilient. And even though we've done a lot of damage here and we've taken a lot of root material away, the tree really hasn't suffered that much. There's been no dieback in the upper part. The new leaves that grew are quite healthy looking. Now it was dug up early in the season before any of the leaves came out. So that helped a lot. If you did the same thing in midsummer, then the tree would suffer so much more because now the leaves are desperate for getting water and they can't get water because you've just cut off all those feeder roots. When I plant this now, I'll be kind of gentle and I don't want to damage any of these small roots. But you can see lots and lots of fine root hairs coming. This tree won't have any trouble being transplanted. If you want to know how to plant trees, have a look at this video right here. Happy gardening. 